city is important to Moscow's efforts to complete the capture of Luhansk. Zain Basravi is monitoring developments from Kyiv. Bombs hit key, we key rail lines uh, that supply humanitarian as well as military aid from the West that's been coming into the country. It is also used for passenger cars. Now, the Ukrainian side isn't confirming any sort of casualties or loss of material. They never do when it comes to any sort of military assets or perceived military failures on the ground. But we have been hearing that at least five people were injured, though this morning that rail line is functioning once more. And a little bit of an update on Severodonetsk uh, from here in Kyiv is that we've just heard from the regional governor of Luhansk that now 80 percent of that city is in Russian control. Uh, once again, if this pace maintains, what we are likely to see is that being the next city to fall uh, fully to Russian control, which is something Ukrainian forces say that they've been fighting very hard to try to keep from happening. Now, it's not just a loss of territory when cities like this fall. There are people in those cities. There are people in those places trapped in the crossfire, trapped behind what become Russian lines. And President Zelensky, in his latest address, touched on that. He said that so far throughout the war, and this is a, a disturbing number, 200,000 Ukrainian children that have been caught in the fighting in either orphanages or people separated from their families in areas now controlled by the Russians have been taken into Russian-held territory and are being held captive. So certainly a, a, a very large number of children, uh, an example of the fact that people are caught up in these places that are falling uh, to the Russian invasion.